everybody, this is Sao Chong here, aka Sage Young, and today we are here in Master Duel to celebrate the first anniversary for Master Duel. So they have this uh, first anniversary, first year anniversary, one year anniversary campaign uh, event. <coughs> so uh, yeah, uh, before I do anything, I want to just uh, give a heads up for those of you guys who maybe don't know that this was happening. So you have something like this. So for the first year anniversary anniversary appreciation campaign you have something like the first anniversary of rewards you get rewards just by logging in there's a login bonus uh, for logging in for a total of seven days during the celebration period where you'll be given these first anniversary tickets as well as a total of a thousand gems to purchase the uh, first anniversary pack uh, which is one pack from selected secret packs uh, that has one featured UR with a royal finish so they're giving, basically they're giving away free gems and uh, UR cards as well as a free royal finish. Um, three of them I think. So yeah, uh, you don't want to miss out on this. This is the most basic but also the, I think the most worth it one. Uh, it's just simple, you just log in for 7 days. You have until uh, April 10th, um, so 11.59 uh, Singapore time. I think this is noon, yeah. So morning 11.59, you have until 11.59 in the morning uh, so please take note of the uh, dateline don't miss out on this uh, then of course for any of you guys who uh, prefers limited time or cosmetic items uh, or just like to get cosmetic items they have a first anniversary bundle for you guys so this is limited cosmetics uh, celebrating the first anniversary uh, you get uh, 30 master packs uh, you get the wallpaper, dark magician, alternate art, uh, the alternate art uh, icon, as well as the icon border. Uh, I'll show you guys more of it. Oh, there it is. Uh, dark magician, uh, alternate art. Dark magician, very nice. Uh, royal finish as well. So you, you just by buying the bundle, you get the royal finish um, card. So that's the new dual feel. Uh, very fitting for the uh, for the archetype for dark magician archetype. Uh, celebrating the um, pharaoh from the first season yeah so attempt and uh, all the ancient egyptian stuff uh wish we there's a way for us to get a closer look on it but i guess not there's card sleeves as well the millennium puzzle themed card sleeve very nice uh card case the millennium puzzle themed card case as well and here you go the alternate art uh, dark magician Icon and the icon border, very nice. Uh, wallpaper is, uh, yeah, uh, it's good to have. But because they keep, ch they'll keep switching up between all the new wallpapers you get. Uh, most of the time, it's like, it's like luck or something. You you hope that it will show up. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was wrong about this. Just uh, change the wallpaper settings on your user profile, the one with the titles, and you'll see the wallpaper up like all the time. So yeah. Um, so this one, the deadline for this bundle is March 28th, so slightly different. You you got less of a time to get this if you're interested. March 28th, 11.59 in the morning. Same thing. Um, yeah, uh, so uh, from this uh, notification page, you can click the shop to see the first anniversary bundle or the confirm in bonus button over here will bring you to here, which is where you will collect your UR tickets as well as your free gems. So over the course of seven days, I already collected for two days. And then the first anniversary pack page, you have something like this. Uh, yeah, you get one of the featured UR cards with a ticket. So since we're already here, let's see what we I'm going to get for the first uh, UR ticket. Yeah, uh, I'll be doing this over the course of the three days. I might separate them into videos or just put them together in one video I'm thinking of putting them together in one video for now so list of obtained URs you can actually see what you've already gotten list of applicable secret packs so basically you get a chance to get hero, stardust, red nova, archetype, black, a red eyes archetype, a blue eyes archetype, galaxy eyes archetype um, for pendulums you have the Astrograph Magician, and uh, of course the Cybers, the, the Code Talker archetype. Uh, yeah, let's see what we get for the first pack. Uh, randomly selected per users, we 
receive one secret pack of your choice and one card uh, with a special UR pack that is one UR card. Uh, yeah, after opening the selected secret pack, you will get the special UR card. And uh, yeah, uh, the special UR is one random UR from the pack that you selected or you got. So let's say you got a Stardust pack, uh, you get a chance to get a UR card from the Stardust pack. So yeah. Uh, the special UR pack cards cannot be dismantled, and uh, those that already the the secret packs that you already opened will not be opened again. So you will not get duplicates of the same uh, UR cards or the royal finish, the free royal finish cards. You, there's no chance to get like two royal finish uh, uh, Stardust Dragon or something. Yeah. So. Uh, Randomized. See what we get. Uh, this one. Oh, access code talker. That's nice. Uh, can we get a UR from this pack? Electronic cord. Sprite pick. Oh, sprite. Sprite pick. These nice. X code talker. Power Code Talker, Finite Codec, oh, that's a foil, and Clock Spar Toy, so yeah. Then we have the Special UR Pack, so this is the Royal Finish, let's see what I get. Fire Wall Dragon, nice. So, very iconic card, uh... <laughs> Before the Irata, it was broken as hell, but now it's uh, now it's just limited to Cyber, so it's kind of balanced. I might be interested to build a Cyber stack now that I got the Royal Finish. We'll see. Yeah. Mm, was hoping for Access Code Talker though. That would have been even nicer, because <laughs> Access Code Talker is so special. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's it for the first anniversary pack ticket. Uh, might just open. I'll just buy the first anniversary campaign bundle. I'm interested in that as well. You get 30 master packs, so we can just open the master packs and see what we get. Hopefully, we get some ultra rares as well. So yeah, I'm a sucker for cosmetics, limited time cosmetics, uh, especially something as iconic as uh, Dark Magician. Yeah, it's just a no brainer to me. No ultra rares. Uh, maybe the next 10 packs? Let's see. Rabana High Paladin. Atlantean. Oh. Master packs are always a uh, hit or miss. Mostly miss. <laughs> Viral Spear Strike. Cubic Karma. Electromagnetic turtle. Okay. The... Oh, boom, Pauline. Eh. Super gadget. Interesting. <coughs> oh, oh, we got an ultra red. Nice. All right, let's see. Uh, Ecclesia, nice, light deck card. Ultra Rare? Dark Sanctuary? What is this? Oh, Spirit Message Archetype. If a Spirit Message card would be placed on your field with Destiny board, you can special summon it as a normal monster. And if you do, it's unaffected by card effect, except Destiny board cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. Oh. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, toss a coin, and if the result is hits, negate the attack. Then if you do inflict, oh, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half of the current attack. Interesting. Uh, don't know if I'll ever play the archetype though. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, Alright, give me something good. Alter guys, memory gun. I think this is good. Like, this is 
quite good for Alter Guys, not sure. 2 plus Alter Guys monster, Link 4. During battle phase, quick effect, you can tribute one other monster. This card gains attack equal to the tributed monster's attack on the field. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And if you do, this card can make a second attack in a row. If this card will be destroyed, you can banish. Oh, actually quite good. I think this is the main attacker for Alter Guys. Not wrong. Alright. Flash Charge Dragon and... Trap Tricks. Kularia. I was just thinking of making a Trap Tricks deck the other day. But they have a lot of Ultra Rares. Uh, Alright, like Link 2, Plant Link Effect Monster. 2 Insect or Plant Monsters. This Link Summon card is unaffected by Trap Effects. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. After you activate a whole normal trap card, you can set it again after sending it to the graveyard. Oh, interesting. During your end phase, you can target one trap trick monster in your graveyard. Special summoning defense position. Oh, so a recurring effect. Just to keep your few, uh, keep monsters on your field. Very nice. I think it's a one off or a two off. Recurring nightmare. Ninjutsu, Shield Handler, Ancient Gear Box, Paralyze, see, that's a good card. Alright, nothing special, let's see. Five Frame Lord Lambda, oh, a foil. I heard this uh, might be good in a punk, pure punk deck. Uh, because of how much you use the Gamma. So. Yeah, if a face-up psychic monster you control is banished, face up while you control this monster, you can activate this effect at one five frame card from your deck to your hand. So, uh, use together with what's the uh, what's the synchro monster again? Uh, well, the one that banishes itself. So, uh, yeah, you just add to your hand every time you banish. Omega, alright, yes. Omega, <laughs> that was the name. I know Morphia. Magical Musket, nice. Lady, Cocky Mirror Guardian, Browning Mirror Force, nice. So actually pretty good 10 packs, I, I got like one more ultra rare than I was hope, like, than I expected, I, I expected no ultra rares, so. If anything, they I can just dismantle the ultra rares for sprite cards later. Or maybe some punk cards like a uh, dangerous dragon. I I don't know if you guys remember the uh, openings I did for the uh, branded Despia and punk um, selection pack, uh, but I kind of dismantled all of my amazing dragons. Now that I'm interested in playing Punk, I need them again. <laughs> it's funny how that always happens to me. Doon Dark Magician Girl. Interesting. Alright, give me some more Ultras from the two glowing packs. Token Collect. Oh, okay, yeah, I hate this card. I play Sword Soul, so yeah. Gladiator the Beast, Battle Tune, Oh Wind Witch, interesting. Ultra Rare, which one am I getting? Dark Castle, Titanoclad, I already have one of him. Don't know if I need to, guess it's uh. 
off to be this rental. You know, Spatial and Air Hummingbird. Ice Queen and. Eh. Ooh, nice. Super rare. Formula Synchron. Nice card. And. Alright, Beckoning Beast. What? Black Wing Jet Stream, the Blue Sky. Alright, interesting. Oh. Pack 19. Alright, the next Ultra Rare. What am I getting? So, Synchron. And. Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Shell. I already have him. Or the Sword Soul deck. I already play a Sword Soul deck. So, yeah. If this card is Synchro Summon, can add or banish one Syn Sword Soul card from your deck. Very strong. Quick effect, you can banish one Sword Soul card or one Worm Monster from your hand to your graveyard, then target one other monster on the field. Yeah. Uh, do negate this effect. Eh, very powerful. Alright, last 10 packs. One Ultra Rare, okay. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Majesty Hyperion. I never seen this card before. You can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard by banishing one the agent monster from your hand, field, or graveyard. You can only special summon. Majesty Hyperion once per turn this way, any dam battle damage you take from battles involving your fairy monsters is also inflicted to your opponent. Oh, once per turn you can banish one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one card in either graveyard, banish it. Ooh. Okay. If the sanctuary in the sky is on the field or in either graveyard, you can use this effect up to twice per turn. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> Very powerful fairy archetype support. Lightning Shidori Evil Twin Come on, give me another Ultra Rare Oh, nice You want at least two, right? For every ten Apple Clifford Sky Base Also never seen this card before I heard the, uh, the Clifford decks were annoying when it first came out Cannot be special summon requires three Kli tributes to normal summon or set this card is normal summon or set. It is unaffected by spell, traps, and by if activated effects from any monster whose original level or rank is lower than this card's current level. So what? Eight? Nine? Yeah, nine. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it to the end phase. Oh, wow. Like a free change of art. <laughs> Once per turn. Death Stellar Knight Already got two, so pretty happy. Maybe we can get one more. Oh, foil goes in match. <laughs> Each player can only control one attribute of monsters and all other face up monsters they control the graveyard. Try for sheep. Give me one more Ultra Rare? Oh, no. Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. What the hell? <laughs> it's like a dinosaur, machine, everything. Blue Dragon Ninja? Oh, that's a foil. Hawk 
Cosmo Dark Destroyer. That's a four as well. Nice. This one too. This one. Boom Kraken. Getting a lot of foils. Generator. Necross. Last pack. Okay. Valence. Grand Duke. And. Heretic Seal of Creation. Alright, no more Ultra Rares, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and everything else. We got a stand, we got a base, and the wallpaper. So we got 7, that's pretty okay. Of course, in addition to all the first anniversary stuff, you get, uh, you have this pack coming out. Uh, already out uh, this week, same time as the first anniversary event. So Sprites of Miracle uh, comes with all the new sprite archetypes, the meta changing tier zero archetype. Oh, uh, maybe not tier zero anymore, but still very strong uh, because of the ban to totally uh, totally awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, included in this pack, you guys see you get Sprite Elf, Magic Sister, uh, Axel Sisters also get. A lot of good support from this pack. Gigantic Sprite, uh, some Dragon, Psychic, and Punisher for Punk. Uh, some Morphtronic stuff, new Morphtronic support. So if you're a Morphtronic player, you get Power 2 Braver Dragon, Life Dream Dragon in the pack. Uh, yeah, Neos Kluger for hero players out there. Shiny Neos Wingman. I don't know how viable that is. Uh, yeah, Punk Deer Note. So yeah, Punk is becoming meta. Already pretty strong before, but this one just makes, uh, just takes it to a whole new tier, I think. Sprite Blue, Axel Sister Marta. And Neos is inside as well. Sprite Starter. Yeah, very, very good cards. If you are unsure of like which pack to spend your gems on, this one is a, a good one, like the best option for you. Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, oh, yes, just remember. In addition to all of that, you have this as part of the first anniversary celebration, you have ultra rare cards with alternate arts. So, for the first anniversary, alternate art Eldritch the Golden Lord and Nightmare Unicorn has been added into the packs, their respective selection packs. Uh, the deadline for this is March 28th, after that, their art will go back to normal, so for me, like, I enjoy exclusive stuff, this is, this is crazy. <laughs> like, the alternate arts are so good, like, especially the Outlitch. Look at this, just the swag. <laughs> he just doesn't care, he's just sitting there. And Nightmare Unicorn as well, you, you've got the Unicorn as well as uh, the Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Sitting on a unicorn, very nice. Uh, yeah, so during this time, one pack of each of the secret packs, Immortal Royalty uh, for Eldritch and Cosmic Mechanical Entities for Nightmare Archetypes cards can be opened for free, so you get one pack for free, that's nice. Uh, yeah, uh, alternate cards can be drawn until March 9th. After the period, wait, it says here. March 28th, but here it says March 9th. Alright, that's weird. After the period, cards with regular arts will be pulled instead. Are you currently you cannot generate the alternate art cards? Uh after this campaign there may be measures similar to those above or uh can be added to master packs or obtained through generating. So yeah, uh I don't know what this line is about. Uh, they seem like it's just more more vague um, notices. So I don't know if there's any chance to get the alternate art cards. 
uh, after this, they say they may, but they may not as well. So yeah, uh, for this period, ah, I think uh, for this period, the uh, for until March 28th, the selection pack, the uh, Immortal Royalty selection, the secret pack, and the Cosmic Mechanical Entity secret packs will be available in the store for you to buy uh, instead of you having to unlock them through crafting su super rare cards and above, like uh, usual. Uh, yeah, but you have only until March 9th, uh, 11.59 to actually pull these ultra rare cards so yeah so uh, out of the two i'm more interested in the cosmic mechanic entities and the nightmare unicorn so uh let's see if i can get it well, i'll just pull the free pack as well which is give me something good oh No, not even a super rare. But I don't mind buying more. Oh, we did get a, an ultra rare, so let's see. This Mariam the True Draco Phoenix. Lightframe Gear Gamma, nice. So as usual, first four cards are any card in the uh, in the pool, uh, but the last four cards are uh, from the secret pack. The world legacy stuff. Oh, I don't even get a super rare. Okay. Oh, we got an ultra rare, but not out of the last four, so... Uh, oh, runic. Alright, that's really nice. Nightmare Phoenix. Crawler to net sign of physis. I don't know. Haven't really played against any crawler decks uh, before. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Number of chaos 106 giant red hand. Interesting. Okay. At least we get two ultra rares out of this pack, right? Oh, we got three. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Slifer the Sky Dragon, that, that's that's something nice. Uh, too bad. You need a lot of cards to actually play this card in a deck. A lot of support cards, and I think some of them are ultra rares as well. So requires three tributes to normal summon, cannot be normal set. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summon cards and effects cannot be activated, once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summon, send it to the graveyard, it gains a thousand attack and defense for each card in your hand. If a monster is normal or special summoned to your opponent's field in attack position, that monster loses 2000 attack, and if its attack has been reduced to zero as a result, destroy the card. So yeah. <laughs> Still a nice card to get. Alright, Ultra Rare, come on, give me the Nightmare Unicorn on my first 10 packs. Yes, that's a chance. Nightmare, 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 please, please. <gasps> we did get the Nightmare Unicorn, holy shit. <laughs> okay. okay.
okay, that that's pretty cool. <laughs> I I only really want the one. I I think one is enough. <laughs> but oh my god, I can't believe we got it. Yeah, one one is nice. If they give us the chance to generate them in the future, I'll I'll get more. But holy crap, you only really only need one for all of the decks out there. <laughs> all right, that's pretty cool. Oh, okay, good good ten packs. I'm happy about that. Uh, all right. Don't need to care about Outleash. I'll maybe I'll come back and visit the. I'll try to get the Outleash of the Golden Lord. Uh, when I get when I open my second and third ultra rare packs, I'll need to get more gems for that. But for now, I'm thinking of getting. Uh, what is it? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the sprites, natural selection. Where is it? Normal pack. Yeah, the sprite. So one. Uh, 10 packs of the Sprites of Miracles and see what I can get. Oh, one, one ultra rare. Alright. Give me a good one, give me a sprite. I'm looking for sprite cards. Also, dear note. Alright. Ultra rare, nice. But Exo Sisters, Magnifica. Uh, I was like, I I did thought about wanting to play Exo Sister. Uh, maybe I'll try them out sometime in the future. But I, I need a lot of the support. Yeah. Give me more ultra rares, please. Gadget Gamer. Quite a number of Mothtronic support. Oh, we got the oil Sprite Pixies. That's nice. Frost Keeper. Toolbox. Well, I am a fan of the Power Tool Dragon and the Mothtronic archetype. Uh, mostly because I watched the anime and I always like. I always was rooting for Rua to get the Signer Dragon. And when he finally did, it was a bit late, but it was hype as hell. So, also interested. We'll see, we'll see what we get. If I did pull the power to Braver Dragon and the live stream, maybe. Morphtronic Impact. Return. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't give me any of the <laughs> hero cards. Anything else, I'm okay. Uh, yeah. Neil Wiseman, Gadget Driver, Life Extreme. Nice, I uh, love this, I uh, love the lore of this card. It's basically what happened in the anime. Elephant. Come on, give me one more Ultra Rare. Nope. Exo Sister Return, yeah. You bell. Not the Lost Art. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever implement Lost Art into Master Duel. They should. They could make an event out of it. Punk. Oh, Sharakusai. Nice. Alright. Psychic and Punisher. Mm. Oh, I, I need one for the Punk deck. Oh, Sprite Jet. Nice. <gasps> oh, Ultra Rare. Nice. Give me one more Ultra Rare, please. Give me something Sprite related. Oh. Gigantic Sprite. Nice, nice. Nice. Two level 2 monsters. Can treat link two monsters you control as level two monster for material. Uh, original attack of this card that has a fusion synchro exit or link monster becomes doubled, so part of the OTK or part of your damage dealing uh, board. Jack and Sprite. Uh, during your main phase, you can activate this effect. Detach one material from a monster you control, and if you do special summon one level two monster from your deck, and neither player can special summon. Monsters for the rest of the turn, except level rank for Link 2 monsters. Crazy. You just... 
is an extender as well. Ooh. Nice, three ultra rares. That's pretty nice. So yeah, uh, for this particular session, the first day, I yeah, I think I'll record all three days and compile them together in one video. But for the first day, I think we did pretty good. We got the alternate art. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, <laughs> crazy. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys again in a bit. And we are back. So this is day four. I got my gems. I got the... Where is it? Oh no. Oh yeah, the Legend Anthology event is underway now. So yeah. I got my ticket, my login bonus. And play a few games of the Legend Anthology, got some gems, so now we got enough. We will try to pull the alternate art um, Eldritch the Golden Lord from Immortal Royalty and see if we can pull them within maybe something like a six. Uh, well, we'll see. Don't wanna say anything. Alright. Well, Alright, I got one free pull out of it. Pretty nice, super rare. It sh should be this one. Okay. We'll go for 10 packs and hopefully we get Eldritch. Hmm. No ultra rare glow. Maybe we'll get an upgrade or something. Okay. Super rare. Curse Outland, of course. Cannot declare attack. So we zombie monsters. Search for Outlet and Golden Land trap spell trap cards. Uh, I can send one Outlitch or Golden Land Spell Trap card to the graveyard. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard. Okay. Again with the oh, oh, it's a first, it's a foil one. That's pretty good. Vampire Frawlain. <gasps> oh wow. <laughs> That's a surprise, a pleasant surprise. Celine. I already have her though. And you only really need one. Oh, uh, we got the other one. We got the fusion. Alright, two plus, including a spell caster, link summon, place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells on the field or in the graveyard. While an endemian card is on the field, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Once per turn during the main phase, quick effect, you can remove three spell counters on your field. To special summon one spell counter mod spell caster monster. Uh, from your hand or graveyard in defense position to a zone this card points to. So, link climbing, right? Usually they use this to go into uh, Access Code Talker, or I use it to go into Access Code Talker in Sky Striker, so I don't know her use beyond that. Okay, so let's see, Eldritch the Mad Golden Lord, one Eldritch monster plus one level 5 higher zombie monster. This card name becomes Eldritch the Golden Lord while on the field. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. You can tribute one zombie monster and then target one face up monster your opponent controls. Take control of it, but you cannot attack or activate this effect this turn. You can only use this uh, effect of Eldritch the Mad Golden Lord once per turn. So uh, notice that you cannot attack or activate this effect this turn, but you Gain permanent control of the monster. <laughs> I 
like nothing. Vampire Lord. Vampire Grimson. Oh. Oh. Nice, nice. Come on, come on. This has to be the one, right? Dinomorphia. Cool art. Uh, two Dinomorphia monster, different names for your life point at 2000 or less. You do not pay life points to activate trap cards or Dinomorphia monster effects. You can only use each of the following effects of Dinomorphia Stealth Bergia once per turn. You, when your opponent activates the monster effect, quick effect, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's original. Oh wow, okay. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, it's better summon a level 4 or lower Dinomorphia monster from your graveyard. Interesting. Well, where is it? Is it this one? Is it Eldritch? Hmm. Close, but no cigar. That Crimson Knight Vampire Brown. Uh, rank 5. So two level 5 zombie monsters, you can detach one material from this card, then target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon that target the earth field, but only that target, only that monster can attack for the rest of the turn. You can only use this effect of Crimson Knight Vampire Brahm once per turn. Uh, once per turn during the standby phase of the next turn after this card you control was destroyed by your opponent's cards. What? And send it to the graveyard, special summon this card. Oh, okay. So that was a pretty crazy pack, like uh, those few packs were pretty nuts. The upgrade and the uh, getting two ultra rare glow- oh! Oh another upgrade, oh that's nuts, alright. Maybe we'll get an ultra rare. Okay no, no ultra rare, I mean that's asking too much. <laughs> There's Outland again of course. Pretty nice, we got 3 ultra rares out of the pools. We'll go for another 10 pack and see if we get lucky. Again, no ultra rare glows. Mm. Ooh. What is this? Do we get something special? Some, oh, okay, nothing. Alright, let's see. Infernoid Devotee. Elixir of Black Awakening. Storm Neos. Vampire Familiar. Oh, oh, mmm. Okay. Black Rose Dragon. I, I don't have Black Rose Dragon, so that's pretty good. I think. I guess her use has been kind of faded. Like count the power creep by her upgrades now. Ruddy Rose and all that. Moonlight. I may end up dismantling her. Lord Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Golden Land Forever. <gasps> okay, there's a chance. Come on. Mm, another vampire. Damn pure vampire Sheridan. Rank 6, 2 plus. Level 6 monsters, if you use a monster with a level that is owned by your opponent for the exit summon of this card, treat it as level 6. Oh, interesting. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target one card your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. Once per turn, if a monster card is sent from the field to, the, to your opponent's graveyard by a card effect, or a monster is destroyed by battle and sent to your opponent's graveyard, you can detach one material from this card, special summon one of those monsters to your field in defense position. So. So the second effect works with his first effect. 
Yeah. Oh, I mean, I meant that the when you detach a material from this card, does that act triggers his second effect? Hmm, not sure. Because technically, let's say you you exit summon this card using your opponent's monster, uh, you you will be sending it back to your opponent's graveyard when you detach the material, right? So two ultra rares, but still no. Guess I shouldn't be complaining. Could, couldn't be that easy. <laughs> uh, my nightmare unicorn was something of a crazy flip. I guess. Empire's Desire. Upgrade. Hmm. Give me one more ultra rare. Hmm, Golden Land Forever. Oh wow. That's like four super rares. Speed recovery. The Fall the Greater. Elixir of Black Awakening and Vampire Falling again. Alright, two ultra rares. Go for one more pack, I guess. One ultra rare, alright. After this, we might try to open some uh, Sprite, the Sprite of Miracles uh, selection pack. But I still want to try to pull some Sprites. Sprite, Sprite, Sprite cards. Mm. Abyss Slash. Oh, okay. Ultra rare. Come on. Oh no, it's in the first four. Dragon Ravine. Interesting. I still don't really understand what the animation is for though. Maybe higher chances of getting foils or something. Uh, Dragonity. Scarlet Scourge. Cubic Dharma. Vampire Sorcerer. Empire Sucker? No foil though. Lot of Vampire cards. No? Come on, give me an ultra rare. One more. Hmm. All right. Hmm. No ultra rares. The one ultra rare. That that's pretty bad. Hmm. With two thousand gems, I guess we can just go for it. I really want that alternate art. But still, I need sprites too. Hmm. Well, you can always dismantle the ultra rare, sorry. Oh, what? What is this? Oh. Uh, give me upgrades, man. Upgrades, ultra rares. Ultra rare? Mm, no. Great. No glow.
maybe we used up all of all of our luck already. <laughs> Vampire Awakening. Vampire Familiar. There's a chance. There is a chance. No. <laughs> the Empire Vampire Sheridan again. Oh. Okay. Well, we got the second second ultra rare. Ooh, Chronomaly. I always love this art. Crazy. Is this telling me to build Chronomaly? Oh! Ooh, nice, an upgrade. Speed recovery. I guess that's it. Kids, rocket ride. Vampire domination and curse outland. Worse. So, hmm. Rank six, two level six monsters. When this card is exit summoned, you can target one number monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack. Go to half of that, half of the attack of that. Equip monster once per turn, you can detach one exit material from this card, then send the monster equipped by this effect to the graveyard half your opponent's life point. Oh. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect. Mm, I guess uh with the number of monsters out of the meta, this card went along with them. Alright. Less less ten packs. For today. No, no glow. Hmm. Upgrade? Hmm. No glow. Empire familiar. All right, ultra rare. Can this be the pack? Oh no! <laughs> it's not in the first four cards. Blue eyes abyss dragon. Interesting. If this card is special summon, you can add one ritual or one polymerization from your deck to your hand. During your end phase, you can add one level eight. Or higher dragon monster from the deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. All level 8 or higher dragon monsters you control gain a thousand attack. You can only use each effect of Blue Eyes or Beast Dragon once per turn, and you can only activate them while Blue Eyes White Dragon is on the field or in your graveyard. A very strict uh, activation conditions, right? And we get one more Ultra Rare. Oh, nice! We did, <laughs> we did pull the alternate art from our last uh, ten packs for the day. That's pretty good. I guess for the next, uh, the next segment, the next session or whatever that's coming in uh, in two more days, I can just open the new selection pack. I only like, I only prefer having one. I guess one is fine. Although. There's an argument that since if you are playing Outlitch and uh, you might want three, but I, I don't main Outlitch or anything. Just having the card is good enough for me. Uh, that might come back to bite me in in a future though. Oh, there's a chance we might get another one. Let's see. 
Is it? No, of course not. <laughs> I can't get that lucky, right? Uh, Crimson Knight Vampire Braum again. Doomkraken. Vampire Domination. Foil. Last two packs. Earth Outland again, of course. Weird. Oh, okay. They're all getting the foil treatment. Vampire for a lane. Oh, we did pull him. Huh? <laughs> Can send one, send this card and one spell or trap card from your hand to the graveyard. Then target one card on the field, send it to the graveyard. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one spell or trap card you control to the graveyard. Add this card to your hand. Then you can special summon one zombie monster from your hand, usually him. And if you do, until the end of your opponent's turn, it gains a thousand attack or defense and cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can only use each effect of Outlish the Golden Lord once per turn. Look at that. <laughs> Yes, we did it. We got both alternate arts already. So, pretty happy with the pools. Oh well, yeah, I forget. I should have done this in the beginning, but... Um, the anniversary thing also. So the anniversary pack. We'll use the ticket and see what we get. Maybe we might even get the ultra one ultra rare from inside the pack itself. So, let's see. This one. Purchase. Oh, not very excited about this one. What's this? Ledger of Ledger Domain. Okay. Weird cards. What? Dream Mirror Cosmo Light Sword? What the hell? Alright. Hmm. And of course, hmm, let's see which card. Do we get Astrograph Sorcerer or. Holy! Okay. <laughs> Supreme King Zark. Z Art, whatever. That's pretty good. That's pretty nuts. I don't mind getting a royal finish of the Supreme King. Okay, really make, tempting me to make a Supreme King deck. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that looks very nice. Dragons, we've been getting back to back dragons for the ultra, uh, with the royal finish. Uh, not that I mind. Dragons are cool. So, yeah. Uh, that's it for this session. I'll see you guys again uh, in a few days time. And we're back. So I played some games, uh, bought a few, bought uh, the pack, what was that again? I bought the gem pack deal. So we got some gems to spend. Uh, so yeah, uh, today, I think uh, today was the last day of the Master Duel first anniversary campaign, so I got the uh, lock in bonus, the gems as well, and we got one um, uh, ultra rare pack to open as well. So one more royal finish. We'll save that for the last, and then we'll just proceed on with the packs. So since we already got the alternate arts for uh, one of each of the alternate arts. Uh, the Nightmare Unicorn and the Eldritch, I think it's finally time to go and open some Sprites of Miracle. Try to get my hands on some of the new Sprite monsters. We'll see if uh, 6,000 gems is enough to get me a decent amount of uh, cards that I want. Alright, let's just uh, get right on into it then. One Ultra Rare, hmm, not looking good. Oh, 
one super rare. Pool box. Eh. Gagaku Punk Wagon. Not bad. Little sister. Alright, so what's the ultra rare that we're getting? Alright, one ultra rare. Stinatrix, so. So, Sister Stella. And. Ugh, Life Stream Dragon. Oh no. <laughs> Well, I did say that I might be playing Morphtronic, so getting one of this card, one of the dragon cards is not bad, I guess. So, Livestream Dragon, that's a level 8 synchro monster, 2900 attack, 2400 defense. Uh, one tuner, one power tool dragon, when this card is synchro summoned, you can make your life point become 4000. You take no effect damage, uh, as long as this card is on the field. If this face-up card on the field will be destroyed, you can banish one equipped spell card from your graveyard instead. So, kinda all over the place the effect. Uh, yeah. I think it was supposed to be a specific counter to Arporia's machine in the anime, but outside of that uh, context or that situation, and it's not very powerful on its own. Right, here's hoping we can get maybe one more ultra rare. No. Lots of Morphtronics. Almond Soul. Exo Sister. Gadget hauler, gadget box, oh no glow, oh madam spider, a mental hero spirit of neos, mm. oh foil flame wingman. Come on, don't tell me I'm just getting one ultra rare for this 10 packs. End shuffle. Not looking good. Pack number 9. Great. Oh, super rare. No glow. Cap shell and Morphtronic Converter. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible first ten packs. Five thousand more gems. Go again with one ultra rare. Mm. Sprite carrot. On Sprite carrot again. Super rare. Gadget Gamer. Oh, three lightning strikes. Maybe you get something. Nope. Ultra rare? Mm, Spirit of Neos again. Sharakusai. Ooh, a foil Madame Spider. Alright, Ultra Rare Pack. One Ultra Rare. Alright, come on, 
on, give me something spy related. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, <laughs> second live stream dragon. Oh, instant contact, that's not bad. Oh, what was that? Am I getting something? Oil Elemental Hero Avian? Uh, no. Come on. Sprite Red. Uh, one Super Glow again. Airfon, alright. Great. Super rare. Two super rare. Oh, what's that? And engage Neil space. I like the art. Alright, red. Oh, foil sprite red. Nice. And shuffle. Antron. Yamit, nice. One of the cards I need. Again, one ultra rare. Mm. Terrible, terrible 20 packs. One ultra rare again. On. Spirit of Neos again. Oh, Sprite Smashers. Oil, that's nice. About this one and by carrot. No. By carrot again. He was Wiseman. Low. Hmm. Jump box. Foil that something, right? Actually, why are you surprised? Target one set card your opponent controls, or if you control a punk monster, you can target one face up card your opponent controls instead, destroy it. Yeah. Kind of bad. Center tricks, Avian, oh, no blue glow. Oh, yes, nice. We got a second ultra finally, and it's gigantic sprite. Nice. So that's our second gigantic sprite. Hey. Level uh, rank two, thousand six hundred attack, thousand six hundred defense. Two level two monsters. For this card's exit summon, you can treat link two monsters you control as level two monsters for material. The original attack of this card that has a fusion synchro exceeds or link monster as material becomes doubled. During your main phase, you can activate this effect. Detach one material from a monster you control, and if you do special summon one level two monster from your deck. Also, neither player can spend summon monsters for the rest of this turn except level 2 rank. Level, rank, or link 2 monsters. Crazy. Maybe give me another? Oh, no. And shuffle. Come on, one more ultra rare. Need to make up for the back packs at the start. Bad packs. Right, carrot. Okay, please. 
sprite related, sprite related. Oh no. <laughs> Elemental hero Neos Kluger. Alright, level 9, 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Neos plus you bell. So must be fusion summoned before damage calculation. If this card battles an opponent's monster, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the opponent's monster's attack. If this face up card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, while its owner controls it, you can special summon one Neos Wiseman from your hand or deck, ignoring its special summoning conditions. You can only use this effect of Elemental Hero Neos Cougar once per turn. Oh, pretty good. But then you, you're you forced to use Uvel in the deck. <laughs> mm, only two Ultra Rares. Alright, let's continue. Oh, nice. We got three uh, rainbow packs this time. So, please be sprite related. related. <laughs> I'm down to like 2000 gems. Sprite red again, foil again. That's nice. Scarret Sharakusai. All right, ultra rare. Give me more than one. Oh, nice! I did get more than one. All right. Uh, sprite. Oh, why am I getting everything besides sprite? Elemental hero, shining Neo's wingman. Looks cool. Alright, 3100 attack, 2500 defense. Amendo Hero Neos plus one Wingman Fusion Monster must be fusion summoned. Gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard, just like a Shining Flare Wingman. Uh, also, cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is special summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes among the monsters on the field. You can only use this effect of Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman once per turn. Uh, if this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. So, same as Flame Wingman's attack. Uh, effect. Nope. Pretty decent. Like, good effects, but uh, nothing game ending, so. Don't know how much people will play him. Axel Sisters, again, Magnifica. Magnific. Magnifica, yes. So, two rank four Exo Sister Axis monsters must be Axis Summon with the above materials. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, banish one card your opponent controls. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can return one Axis monster you own attached to this card to your extra deck. Then you can special summon that monster from your extra deck using this card. You control as material. This is treated as an XC summon. Transfer this card's material to the summon monster. So you can dodge targeting effects, I guess. Yeah, and you can resummon your Michaelis, of course. And the other ones. Like this one. Caspital. And I'll be destroyed, blah blah blah. I haven't seen them much, I haven't faced off against Exo Sisters as much as I'd like, so don't really know their effects or their combos that well. Airphon, Wagon, that's foil, that's nice. No blue glow. Oh, no, oh, no, <laughs> Neo's Kluger again. Junk box, foil, that's nice. Man, I am really getting everything besides uh, sprite cards. Oh, my Ultra Rares. Nothing. 
Alright, last one. Can we get a sprite card, please? Again with the foil sprite red. Oh, extreme session. That's pretty good. I think I need like three of that card as well. Morphtronic converter and... Oh, Jesus. I am getting everything from the Morphtronic <laughs> side of the Ultra Rares. Power to Braver Dragon. Did I get this card already? Uh, there one tuner plus one non-tuner monster is 2,500 attack, 2,300 defense. If this card is special summon, you can equip up to three good spell cards with different names from your deck and or graveyard to this card. During the main phase, quick effect, you can send one of your equipped spells equipped to this card to the graveyard, then target one effect monster on the field. Either change its battle position or until the end of this turn negate its effect. No, oh, got an effect negate. You can only use each effect of power to braver dragon once per turn. Interesting. I guess the equip up to three equipped spells with different names from your deck effects kind of nuts. Can very well be the game like the. OTK machine or the game ender card that uh, Morphtronic decks need. But I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> oh, we got yellow foils again. You give me an ultra rare. Oh, Dragon Drive. It's not bad. I, I need like one. The art is nice as usual. So, Sister Stella. So, four ultra rares, but no sprite. Oh, 2,000 gems to go. One rainbow glow. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> okay, give me sprite, give me sprite, please. Dear no. Oh, that's not bad. No punk, dear no. How many? Of dear no, do I need? I think I need three right? or two. I don't know. So you can review one other punk monster in your hands. Special summon either the revealed monster or this card, and send the other to the graveyard. If this card is sent from a from the field to your graveyard, you can target one punk monster in your graveyard, except a level five monster. Special summon it, but you cannot special summon no punk dear note for the rest of this turn. You can only use each effect of no punk dear note once per turn. So, yeah. You can single summon with this card and then you can further extend your place by special summoning another punk monster. Dual Academy. <laughs> well, I didn't know this card was inside uh, the pack. So we at least got two, right? Two ultra rares from this uh, ten packs. Maybe we can get one more. <gasps> oh! Holy crap! We got like a playset. <laughs> Of live stream dragon. Oh, Sprite Jet. Haven't seen him yet. Or it. But we need more. Is this a sign? Is the game telling me to play Morphtronics? Oh, a foil Sprite Carrot. That's nice. I don't mind playing Morphtronic. But I, I want to play Sprite more. <laughs> uh, on. Uh, at this rate, I might just craft them instead. I mean, I might have no choice. Gotten too many of the ultra rares. Upgrade? No. Come on. Exo 
Sister Returnia. Or, what, wild picking, wild picking, sprite smashers. Give me Sprite Ultra Rare, please. Oh, Jam Dragon Drive. Over Fusion and... Sprite Blue! No, that's what I'm talking about. Sprite Blue. Your starter for the, for the Sprite Arc type, I think. If you control a level or rank 2 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. So, kind of like a starter, like your extender. I guess... The starters you'll be using are the frogs and the Nimble Beaver for the normal build. You can only special summon Sprite Blue once per turn this way. Uh, if this card is special summon, you can add one Sprite monster from the deck to your hand, except Sprite Blue. You can only use the effect of Sprite Blue once per turn. So, yeah, it special summons itself, gives you a body, and uh, helps you search. Crazy. Spirit of Neos. So, we finally got. Another Sprite Ultra Rare, so that's two Sprite Ultra Rares out of the, all the Ultra Rares we got out of uh, five packs, right? Last ten packs. One Ultra Rare again. Please give me more than one. Hello? Ultra Rare? Jam Dragon Drive, we got like a playset already. Thinking of whether to play Punk first, maybe? Ooh, we got an Ultra Rare, alright. No, <laughs> oh Jesus. This, this guy again. Over fusion. Sprite red. Miracle fusion. Phone's going off. Build Academy Cannon Foil No upgrades Ooh, uh, yeah, I think we got like a flip playset of uh, Foil Sprite Red already Gadget box. Okay, um, last ultra rare pack. Please give me a sprite elf or something. Or not a sprite blue. Blue box and. Jeez, a play set of Paul 2 Braver Dragon as well. What the heck? Oh no. Can we get one more after her? Nope. Nope. Oh, it's done contacts, not bad. But no. Jesus. <laughs> two power two braver dragons. Terrible. Terrible 60 packs. Uh, when it comes to getting sprite cards, I mean, we got two. And we only got one. You know. Uh, I think I, I need one more. You know. At the very least, needs two or in the deck. Uh, no sprite elf. I'll need to craft the elf. 
a two jagged expert is fine I guess I need to craft two more sprite blues as well so as the sprite starter uh, terrible. I don't know if I have enough uh, materials for all that but well save the last the, the best for the last right so the anniversary pack uh, we got one more pack and one more ultra rare royal finish guaranteed pack all right let's see what we get uh, this one purchase Red Nova Dragon. Ritual Beast Tamer Lara. Weird. Alright, Red Cocoon, Red Dragon Face, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Chain resonator. Alright, um, hopefully it's Red Nova. Mm. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, it is Red Nova, nice. Maybe it's time for a Red Nova deck, a uh, um, resonator. I don't know what the archetype is. It looks cool. Not gonna lie, was hoping for Stardust Dragon, <laughs> like the Stardust uh, archetype. Mm, but okay, at least we got the one of the main dragons. So yeah. So that's all for the first anniversary content. Um, everything I've opened. I guess the pools have been kind of all over the place, but I like the ultra royal, the royal finish cards that I got, and of course, I managed to pull the alternate art cards uh, without having to spend any more money. I, I did get the. A limited time offer the three, three, the six, the nine thousand gems, but yeah, I was prepared to spend those money, uh, spend money to get those gems. So yeah, uh, being able to get the alternate art cards was something I'm very happy about. I hope you guys enjoyed the pools, especially the Nightmare in the Horn pool. <laughs> that one was nuts. Uh, the Eldritch pool was. Nice as well, because uh, we are down to the last pack and we got it. So yeah, um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching all the way to the end. And of course subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content. Uh, maybe I'll do more, maybe I might even end up recording games, like uh, playing games and recording and posting, posting it up on the channel. Uh, but I'll need to practice my commentary while playing the game first uh, and see where that takes me. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Sao Song aka Sei Xiang, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.